In this video, I'm going to talk about Power Platform Manage Environments. Now, I have already created a specific video on Power Platform Manage Environment in my channel. And based on that video, one of the user has commented that uh, that user needs some sort of a real world use case example or the purpose of the managed environments in Power Platform. Now, I thought of creating a specific video for this. Now, just to reiterate what is a managed environment. Now, managed environment is a suite of capabilities that allows an administrator to manage Power Platform at scale with more control and less effort and more insight. So, if you clearly focus on these words like control, effort, and insights, it means that an admin needs to do less work, less effort, gets more control, and gets more insights about the environment. Now, admin can use the managed environments with any type of environment. Now, uh, the features are basically limit sharing, info solution checker, if they get an email digest, uh, they get a nice welcome page uh, when the user logs in for the first time for the in, in the environment, uh, control the data policies. And uh, based on that, uh, the only disadvantage of manage environment, what I would say is like any connector you use, okay, even if it's a standard or like a premium, it will be treated as a, um, like a premium connection. So you need to have a premium use right to use the respective resources in the environment. Okay. So uh, now uh, what is the uh, use, you know, like uh, where where can I use managed environment? Now, this is just like uh, my observation. It's like mainly it is used for a larger organization. It can be used for a tenant with significant environments. I would say 10 plus. This is just my number. Okay. Now, the main purpose over here is to understand that if a tenant has uh, a lot of environments or maybe one environment and if it has hundreds of apps or thousands of flows, you know, and if it becomes difficult to manage, then I'd say, yes, please go for the managed environment. Now, uh, we can segregate in such a way that it depends on the number of users within your organization. It depends on the active power platform users it depends on the number of apps flows or other infrastructure related to power platform if you have created that in a significant amount of number and if it has become a uh, uh, like a difficult game for you to govern it correctly then i would say go for managed environment and also it can we can also judge in such a way that we can see that if an organization has more administrator like say if their organization has a 10 administrator to manage the power platform environment that means quite possible that they might have more than say five environments and uh, they would need this kind of an assistance because they can't manage each and every app or uh, flows uh, uh, behavior uh, like if a flow has been like say orphaned or if a flow needs some cleanup activity so those kind of things it's very difficult to manage individually and for that purpose you need to have some sort of a uh, managed environment now the beauty of managed environment is like it gives you an insight it gives you a report so that you can take an action based on that okay now what if you don't have a managed environment how can you, uh, if you don't want to enable managed environment, then how can you uh, make use of the feature, but at the same time ensure that uh, all the housekeeping work is done correctly? Now, what I would recommend is uh, basically to install Center of Excellence Starter Kit in your environment. Now, Center of Excellence Starter Kit is free. The moment you do that, you need not make any of your environment as a managed environment. Now, the beauty of that is you get everything for free. You get the statistics, you get the report, you get all the apps within Center of Excellence Starter Kit, which will do much more than what managed environments provide you, provided you look into the reports, provided you configure it correctly. So my suggestion would be if you don't want to go for a managed environment or if you don't know what a managed environment is used for, try installing Center of Excellence Starter Kit in your environment and try to reap the benefits of all the free components which is provided by Microsoft to manage or govern your environment in a better way. Here, if you see, there are like multiple environments which I have created. One of the environment for me is like a managed environment. Now, what is the benefit of managed environment is uh, 
under billing licenses you will be able to see which users has which licenses and then you can assign uh, different types of license to the users based on the recommended actions okay so it will only list down for uh, say standard environment or it can be listing for a managed environment as well okay so that is one benefit second is you get a nice summarized report okay so i have received a summarized report over here which shows tells me that you have x number of apps x number of flows x number of app users and these are some of the apps which was last launched these are some of the flows which was last launched and these are some of the most popular flows which was launched and these many times it was being launched so we can have you know like a nice bit of statistics around it and then based on that i can take an action if uh, the flow is getting more popular then maybe i can uh, make it uh, uh, I can ask the owner to, you know, like follow all the best practices and then uh, make it like a corporate flow kind of a thing, you know, and try to, you know, try to enhance the uh, user uh, interface uh, of the application and also the uh, coding structure uh, which my organization follows. I will start enforcing those information. Okay, I'll start governing more and then I will get benefit out of it. So, so in a nutshell, I'd say like if you uh, want to use manage environment, please go ahead and enable those provided that you have the budget and the capacity to have the licenses in place. However, if you don't have that capacity, then maybe I would recommend you to install Center of Excellence Starter Kit and get more benefit compared to what is currently being provided by the managed environment feature set thanks for watching